cancer is uh, a dance the body's doing to save, save our lives, just like high blood pressure is. But what's unique to cancer is that <clears throat> the final event in the life of a cell, when it's no longer breast, it's breast cancer, it's no longer pancreas, it's pancreatic cancer, it's no longer colon, it's colon cancer. That final event is when it loses the ability to use oxygen. Once that happens, it doesn't want to die. So it goes into a default mode of energy production called fermentation. But it's that event, that final event, when it switches over, it down-regulates certain enzymes, up-regulates certain enzymes, changes its shape, and it's now this thing we call cancer. So what is it really? It's our body's extraordinary effort to save our lives. It's a beautiful thing. It's, 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 a, it's the lifesaver. And it's a blessing. And when someone realizes it, that that's what it is, that our, our, body, our body wants more than anything to save us. And it's doing this to, until we can get it together, until we can change our lifestyles so that it doesn't have to do this thing. So it's, it's not the enemy. And the way I see cancer is really as a, as a divine tap on the shoulder by God, just saying, you know, this path's a little shorter than you would like. Make a right-hand turn here. You make that right hand turn, and what happens is you become now who you could have become, your potential. Every, everyone that makes it, they realize it's almost like an anointing. They were anointed to take this role in life, and now they want to just spread the word. We have to change that, and, um, and, and with that knowledge, fear dissipates. Surrender happens, and surrender is the major thing. The greatest thing that I've learned here is not to be afraid of cancer. It's a word, not a sentence.